Alright guys, Lanny here, and today I'm going to show you what I did to resurface my clutch shell for my old Harley shovel head. In these next couple slides here, uh, you're going to see what it looked like after disassembly. Uh, and I've got some close-up shots of uh, the grooves that had worn into the inside of this shell. Uh, right there is where the uh, fiber plate, the innermost fiber plate on your clutch plates rides. And it, the clutch was, was giving me some problems. It was grabbing and it was not uh, releasing correctly. Uh, and if you look right here, that's the back side of the inner plate. So if you look closely, you can see that little... Uh, a little black line on the inside of the red fibers there, that ring. And basically what was happening was that was the only portion that was in contact with the clutch shell. So the, the power coming from the engine wasn't fully getting transferred uh, to the transmission through the hub. And the next picture here is the hub disassembled. That's what goes inside of that shell. Um, it's also got the retainer there, uh, and the retainer, as you can see, had some issues. It, it was cracking and breaking, and it wasn't fully doing its job as well. So I ordered a new one of those. Um, we'll have another video of it getting put together. Um, but all in all, if you take a look here, I just did a quick search, and I more or less saved myself around 300 bucks after you figure taxes and shipping to have a new replacement um, clutch shell sent my way uh, and as you can see uh, my particular shell uh, was V-Twin part number uh, 200918 so by doing this I saved myself um, from having to deal with all that um, here you've got it mounted up in the smithy 3-in-1 lathe um, this is a new to me machine. I've only had it a few weeks. Uh, I had an old LeBlanc that I sold and replaced it with this uh, smaller model. I was kind of constrained on space. So this is really the first job I did with this machine. And as you can see, it doesn't necessarily um, have the capacity to do items much bigger than this. Uh, for this particular operation on the inside it worked out well but when it come time to flip it around and you'll see in the video it was uh, reaching the capacity of this little five inch chuck. So, And later on I'll do a video on this um, this lathe and kind of do an overview of it and go from there. Uh, here's a video in the middle of the action. I'm sorry this is a picture in the middle of the action and you can see uh, the difference it's making uh, and at the end here I, I've got a little video clip I didn't do a very good job on this video at all and I'm, I'm new to all this uh, but if you get to the end I'll show you some of the finished uh, pictures and, and you can definitely tell a huge difference so here I'm just doing a little indicating trying to get it straight in the in the chuck and I, I didn't do a very good job of, of getting much detail on that uh, here's the setup definitely not the best setup in the world uh, but with the tooling I had it's it's what I had to do to make it work so I've got it chucked in there and I've got the lathe in reverse so that I can turn on the back side and, and face that off um, and it actually it ended up working out quite well Started with a little skim cut to check it out. And in this particular video, it's what I referenced earlier. Um, this is the back side. This is where the 
clutch hub itself, the fiber disc rides. So on my particular clutch shell, both the inside where the the clutch plates ride, as well as the back side where this clutch hub rides, both of those were had had grooves in them and I don't know if dirt had gotten in there or over the years or whatever it was. I mean it was definitely a used uh clutch hub. Had quite a few miles on it. Uh, but I, I'm thinking somewhere along the way something got in there and it really kind of tore into and rode in between the shell and the hub. As you can tell, it's a, it's a really good finish there. I'm pretty happy with it. But I didn't have it completely cleaned up, so I take another skim cut here. So there it is as far as I want to take it. A little shot of the inside there. Way better than it was before. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I've got a couple pictures here for you. And then uh, in the future here, I'm going to do um, a video of it assembled and, and the adjustment of it and everything of that nature. Appreciate you guys checking it out. 